What's going on guys? In this video we will talk about how to make earrings, diamond tennis chains, how to sandblast jewelry, how to make enamel pieces, how to take objects, 3D scan them, and turn them into real gold and diamond jewelry, and more. Now, before we begin, if you guys are new to this channel, we talk about entrepreneurship and different businesses you guys can start. And one of the subjects we're talking about right now is how to start a jewelry business. You can start a jewelry business with under $1,000. This is something anyone can get into. You don't need any business licenses or special degrees. I suggest you guys start by watching this video, which is the ultimate guide on how to start a jewelry business, and then watch the videos in the playlist. I will leave a link in the description below. All right, guys, the first thing we're going to talk about is how to make earrings. There are two ways to make earrings for your jewelry business. The first way is buying pre-made earrings, and the second way is making the earrings completely by yourself from scratch. The first and most common way is if you're buying popular earrings such as cluster earrings or one stone stud earrings, you will simply find a mounting store in the jewelry district and you can buy the earrings already made and polished and ready to have stones set in them. Alright guys, so here's an example of a mounting store located here in the Los Angeles Diamond District. As you guys can see, they have a large selection of all kinds of pre-made earrings. These will usually cost around $5 to $7 per gram on top of the spot price. Alright guys, we're going to go on goldcalc.com, we're going to select 14 karat gold, and as you guys can see, 1 gram of 14 karat gold costs around $35 today. Alright guys, so when you buy the earrings, you'll have an option to buy them in 10 karat, 14 karat, or 18 karat gold. You will also choose from white gold, yellow gold, or rose gold. Keep in mind, if you do white gold, you will have to play the earrings after polishing. So these earrings right here weigh 3.8 grams, so the total you will pay is $152. Now one more very important thing I want you guys to know is when you buy earrings, you can select between regular backings and screw-on backings. I suggest you guys use regular backings for the majority of your inventory because screw-ons can sometimes be a headache. Also if you guys are making custom earrings, you guys can buy these backings separately. We'll talk about this in a second. Alright guys, so now what we're going to do is go on a popular jewelry website and we're going to calculate exactly how much it's going to cost to make earrings just like this. Alright, so these earrings are 14 karat gold. You can make them in yellow gold, white gold, or rose gold. The cost is going to be the same. Let's scroll down. So you guys see these earrings weigh 0.7 of a carat. So let's calculate exactly how much it's going to cost to make these. So let's say the earrings weigh 2 grams, multiply by $40, that's $80 for the mountings. You guys can get VS diamonds for around $380 a carat. Make sure you guys check out this video right here, I tell you exactly how to do that. So 0.7 multiplied by 380, that's going to cost us $266 for the diamonds. You're going to pay $1 to set each stone because it already has the holes and prongs. So there's 14 stones, so that's $14. You're going to pay $20 for polishing and plating, so the total cost to make these earrings is going to be around $380. Now one more thing I want to add is if you guys are making one stone stud earrings, you will pay around $10 to set each stone. Now let's talk about how to make custom earrings. You guys can get custom 3D earring designs made on websites such as cgtrader.com. The only thing is you guys shouldn't make the earrings or the pins and the backings. You will buy those separately from the mounting store. Also if you guys are making women's earrings, you can buy the locks separately from the mounting store and then have them welded onto the earrings. Just make sure you buy the locks in the same gold color as the cassock piece. Alright guys, let's talk about how to make diamond tennis chains. As you guys probably guessed, the process of making tennis chains is the same as making earrings. You don't want to make tennis chains from scratch because it's going to cost you more, take more time, and also the end result is not going to be as good quality as if you buy from a mounting store. The chain from the mounting store is always going to be much higher quality. Alright guys, so the mounting store is going to have all kinds of different tennis chains and different styles. The most popular style is the 4 prong classic tennis chain. You will be able to buy these in 10 karat, 14 karat, and 18 karat gold. You can get them in yellow gold, white gold, or rose gold. The chains will be available in different sizes. The mounting store will tell you the exact stone size the chain needs. Also, the chain will come fully assembled with the locks and everything. The only thing you guys will need to do is to buy the diamonds and set the stones. Don't forget to negotiate prices if you guys are buying more than one chain. Alright guys, again let's go on the jewelry website and we're going to calculate exactly how much it's going to cost to make us this chain. So this chain is made in 18 karat gold and it has around 8 carats of diamonds. These are small 2 millimeter stones. So again, it's going to cost us around $380 per carat in VS. So the chain weighs only 15 grams. 18 karat gold at $52 a gram. That's $780. There's 8 carats of diamonds. Multiply by $380 a carat, that's $3,040. There's 264 holes, and it's going to cost us $1 to set each stone, so that's $264. Polishing and plating is going to cost us $20, so the total cost is going to be around $4,104. Alright guys, let's talk about how to sandblast jewelry. Sandblasting is basically the process of making a gold piece look matte. This is useful if you guys are making unique pieces, or if your piece has a lot of porosity. Sandblasting is done with a special sandblasting machine. Basically the way it works is that the machine shoots a bunch of sand onto the piece which makes it matte. This machine costs a couple hundred dollars. The good news is that you guys don't need to buy this. Every bench jeweler will have one. It will cost around $10 to sandblast a piece. The matte parts of the piece can always be polished to make them shiny. Just let your polish
polish and know which parts you want shiny and which parts you want matte. All right, guys, a little bit off topic, but one thing I want to mention is when you guys are setting colored stones, such as red rubies or blue sapphires or black diamonds into a piece, you have to play the prongs black. If you guys don't play the prongs, the piece will look unfinished and will not look good. All right, guys, let's talk about how to make enamel jewelry. Making enamel pieces is a super easy thing to do. You will make your jewelry piece with an area where you can pour the enamel. You will then go to a store like Michael's and buy the enamel for a few dollars. Some bench jewelers will have the enamel, but if they don't have the exact one you guys want to use, just buy it yourself. So for example, if the enamel piece is going to be these Jordans right here, you guys will print out a piece of paper with a picture of the Jordans and give it to the polisher so he knows where to pour the enamel. After the piece is polished, they will pour the enamel onto the piece and then polish off any excess enamel. They will charge around $10 to do this. Let's talk about how to scan objects and make jewelry out of them. There are 3D scanners that you guys can buy. The way they work is you simply scan an object and then you will have a 3D file which you can edit in a 3D program like Rhino 3D. The problem is these scanners go for over $5,000 so most people won't be buying them. The good thing is that there are 3D scanning services in the jewelry district. You will simply give your item to the scanner and they will scan it for you for around $50. You can then let them edit the file and do things such as add bales or add holes and prongs for diamonds. Or if you guys want, you can always do it yourself or send it to your designer to do it. You will then print the piece with your Ella Gumars, cast it, and you're done. You guys can also get creative and do things such as scan iWatch cases and make custom pieces out of them. Alright guys, one more thing I want to talk about is how to make Rolex present and bracelets. A lot of you guys asked me how to make these and honestly it's very simple. Let's open up eBay and see what these are going for. Alright, so you guys can see the seller sold three of them. If you look at the description, these weigh around 60 grams. So they cost around $2,000 to make and he's selling them for 5k. Alright guys, so the way to make these is very easy. Sorry I don't have the 3D file on me, but I'll show you guys the best I can. Basically, you're going to have your 3D designer make three files. You will make the bottom link with two pins, all solid, no screws. You will make the middle link with two holes and you will make the last link with two holes but solid on top. It will look similar to this link right here, but just the middle part is going to be longer. You will also get a file made for the clasp. You can get these made on cgtrader.com. You will print a bunch of these links with your 3D printer using castable resin. You will cast them and you will pay $1.50 per gram on top of the spot price. You will then have the bottom link with the pins and the top link polished matte and all the middle links polished shiny. After that, the polisher will put the middle part on the pins and put a small piece of solder on each pin and put the top link on top. It's that simple. All right, guys, now I want to answer a question that you guys ask me often. A lot of you ask me what to do if you don't live near a jewelry district or if you live in a country that doesn't have a jewelry district. There's still a couple of ways you guys can do this. You can fly out to the district in LA or New York and build a relationship with the casters. Just go there and tell them that you live in a different state and you're starting a jewelry business. You will send them your waxes, pay them, and have them send you the casting pieces back. When you guys do this, just make sure you only pay by PayPal so that if anything goes wrong, you're covered. Never pay by wire transfer, Western Union, or Bitcoin. You will send them the waxes and, and then send them a prepaid FedEx shipping label which they will mail back to you it's that simple now guys there's also one more way of doing this which i don't really like recommending on my channel because it could be potentially dangerous and that's buying a casting machine and doing this at home now this is something that you don't want to do in your apartment this is something that has to be done in a safe environment you guys can get a casting machine for under a thousand dollars if you guys do go this route i suggest you pay somebody a couple hundred dollars and have them teach you how to do properly also some of you guys asked me how to get into the jewelry business and honestly guys you don't need to take any courses have any licenses or have a lot of money that's not how this business works. This is what people who are in this business will tell you because they don't want competition and they just say this to throw you off track. These videos are enough for you to start. Just go to the district and start making your first pieces. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one.